Sheep scab is a highly contagious disease caused by the mite Seroptis ovus, which infests the skin surface, causing intense itching, restlessness, wool loss, yellowish scabs, bleeding wounds, loss of production, and in some severe cases, death. When looking at diseases, a good place to start is the Biosecurity Big Five Checklist. Livestock Movement Quarantine Diagnostic Tests and Preventative Vaccines Hygiene and Health Plans Livestock movement is the most likely way to introduce disease onto your farm. In an ideal world, you would run a closed flock, but failing this, buy a replacement stock from accredited or trusted sources. It's sensible to always check the disease status of any newly purchased or returning animals, even if it's just from the local show. It's vital also to be aware of the fact that infested sheep may not show any clinical signs for weeks or even months after infestation. Always keep introduced animals isolated and ensure best practice quarantine conditions, ideally in a building well away from other animals. Quarantine advice for sheep scab is to treat with an approved product effective against sheep scab mites and isolate them for at least two weeks. During this time, observe the quarantine sheep for any scratching, wool pools or rubs. Now it's worth remembering that as well as transferring directly from sheep to sheep, sheep scab mites can live off host for 16 to 19 days, meaning that fences, loose wool, sheds, transport, etc. can all be sources of infection. Double fencing with a gap of at least three meters is recommended. Sheep scratch for many reasons, so making assumptions can cost you time and money. Remember that in the early stages of sheep scab infestation, there will be no evident clinical signs. The new diagnostic for sheep scab, which has been developed by scientists at Morden, is very effective at diagnosing early infestation. You only need to take a blood sample from a small proportion of the flock, say a dozen from a group of up to 2,000 sheep. Treat all sheep in a group diagnosed with sheep scab with an approved product. Knowing disease status is important and prevention is always better than cure. Hygiene is very important when preventing disease. Always practice good hygiene, including the use of effective disinfectants. Remember, not all disinfectants are effective against all pathogens. Therefore, it's crucial you choose a disinfectant that will kill the pathogen you are aiming to control. Remember, sheep scab mites can live off the host animal, so it's very important to disinfect any shared equipment between flocks. Provision of good environmental conditions will also lead to a reduced risk of infection. Clean, well-ventilated and well-bedded housing all help to promote good health and reduce pathogen numbers. You can help control the spread of disease by developing flock health plans in consultation with your vet. This allows you to create a disease control strategy before busy times such as lambing, which can save you many headaches. These plans ensure preventative vaccines and diagnostics are used at the correct time, as well as screening and regular monitoring. So follow the Biosecurity Big Five checklist. Livestock movement, quarantine, diagnostic tests and preventative vaccines, hygiene and health plans. At Morden, we are continuing to research into many key livestock diseases, focusing on diagnostics, vaccines and disease control strategies, all aimed at improving disease prevention in your flocks and herds. If you'd like more information on sheep scab, please visit the Morden website.